At the Cure International Hospital in Kabul, Dr. Sophia is treating patients. She works in the medical field of obstetrics and gynecology. <laughs> the Taliban made it forbidden for medical students to practice on human skeletons, and medical texts were scarce. This stymied medical research and education, particularly in the area of women's health. There has been limited work done in cancer research in Afghanistan, especially in gynecological cancers, such as cervical and ovarian cancers. Women doctors that have the skills to treat these kinds of cancers are often sent to Pakistan and other countries. Dr. Sophia has expanded her knowledge using medical textbooks donated by American physicians and medical universities through a program called Operation Medical Libraries, or OML, based in California. Dr. Sophia says the books have helped educate doctors at her hospital about how to treat conditions like obstetric fistula that affect the female pelvic organs after childbirth. This book explains ways to treat patients and what to look for during checkups. These books provide us with lots of information and are good resources. It also tells us what we can do in the future to introduce urogynecology into Afghan medicine. OML has delivered over one and a half million dollars worth of medical resources to Afghanistan since the program began in the country in 2008. These materials are received by many, including doctors, educational institutions, and Afghan National Army troop medics, largely with the help of the U.S. military. Charles Potter is a colonel in the U.S. Air Force and worked on medical projects while he was deployed in Afghanistan. He helped organize an airlift to transport medical books from one of America's top universities to Mazari Sharif. Our mission there is to develop those relationships, develop the type of medicine that we can take a, a very injured patient who has been in probably in our facility for months and then be able to turn them over to the local docs and then they can continue with their care. If we can do that, I mean, that's, that's the start of, of rebuilding their medical infrastructure. Even a decade after the fall of the Taliban, Colonel Potter says that medical professionals in some parts of Afghanistan are threatened for accepting these materials from U.S. troops. They hide them. They bury them. They bring them out when they can. And then they put them away so they're not kind of caught with them. So it is a, it is a danger for them to do that. Uh, but they're thirsty for that knowledge. In addition to the risk, most of the books are written in English, and few medical training facilities have translators. It's the illustrations that medical books have that would show a part of the body or an organ or how to do a particular procedure that's, that's most important to them. Dr. Farzana Wali says the pictures in the books have helped her share medical knowledge with other doctors. This book on maternal fetal medicines is printed in high quality and is more comprehensive than some of the other books. This book is also good because it has clear graphics which is used to help train other doctors. Medical resources have already been donated through OML to six Afghan provinces, including Kabul, Kandahar, Balkh, Herat, Nangahar, and Parwan. Donations continue to pour in from doctors, hospitals, and universities across the United States. Philip Levenberg, VOA News.